How do you implement marketing automation? Do you just plug in a marketing automation tool, turn it on and go do something else? Well, not really. If you're interested in working in marketing automation or are delving into the topic for your job or clients, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Talita, a HubSpot and marketing automation consultant. Here on the channel, we talk a lot about marketing automation as a topic and we have a few great videos on how to work in this field. So don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. Today, I want to talk to you about the process of implementing marketing automation for a business. Let's get started. First things first, why do you want to set up marketing automation? Perhaps you're working at a job and your boss told you to look for a marketing automation tool or a client came to you and said that they need to start automating more but have no idea how to do this. This is a classic, by the way. The important first step is to understand why we want to set up marketing automation. Look, marketing automation is, by definition, to use technology to automate tasks. You need two things to make this happen. The tasks you want to automate and the technology, which is the marketing automation tool you're going to use. A business typically starts using a marketing automation tool so that they can save time on repetitive manual tasks, such as emails or social media publishing. Thinking about this is important for two reasons. Number one, you don't want to simply sign up for a marketing automation tool for the wrong reasons. Not only because they cost money, but also because you might add an unnecessary layer of complexity to your processes. Once I had a business founder tell me that they wanted to get started with HubSpot, a popular marketing automation tool I specialize in, and they wanted to do this because their friend recommended. Well, don't get me wrong, uh, friend recommendations are great, but you don't want to start doing stuff just because it's the new trend in the market or a friend said it was a good idea, right? Starting with marketing automation is a decision that needs to come from a specific set of needs, which leads me to reason number two. Reason number two, once you understand why you want to get started with marketing automation, you can define what exactly you need to automate, which is precisely what you need to know before choosing a marketing automation tool. Here's a good example to make this easier to understand. We are a small design agency and we want to get started with marketing automation because our marketing manager, Sarah, spends too much time sending emails manually. We want to automate emails and content creation. So this is all we need, right? We know that the company is a small design agency, right? So a small team and that they want to automate emails and content. This means that we can look for marketing automation tools suitable for small businesses, which are focused on email and content. There are many things you might want to automate in a business. Perhaps you want to automate client payments or you need to automate emails, social media. Perhaps you want to automate the handover of leads between marketing and sales. There are many things that can be automated. For more examples, on what can be automated in a business, check out a video suggestion in the description below. Choosing the right tool. Once you know what you need to automate, you can look for a good marketing automation tool that suits your business needs. A good marketing automation tool should suit your budget and team and cover at least most of the things you want to automate. There are different tools in the market. Here are some examples. ConvertKit is a great marketing automation tool for consultants, creators, and small businesses in general. It's a very affordable tool that allows you to host your email list and send automated emails to nurture your customers until they buy. It doesn't handle social media scheduling, advanced reporting, things like that, um, but it definitely covers the needs of a small business. I have a set on tutorials on how to get started with ConvertKit from scratch. The links are in the description below. HubSpot. HubSpot is an awesome marketing automation tool for small to medium sized businesses that need a little bit more advanced functionality. It also hosts your email list. It allows you to send automated email campaigns and you can opt for social media scheduling, automated content creation, as well as other business automations. For example, this system can create tasks for you and send alerts to the team. In my opinion, HubSpot is more expensive than ConvertKit and is more suitable for B2B businesses that have a bit more budget to work with. Marketo is an advanced marketing automation tool for enterprises that allows you to create a very complex type of automation, including dynamic content, lead scoring, omni-channel engagement, and more. It's obviously a bit more expensive tool and it's targeted at businesses with complex needs and more budget. So typically, the more features and functionalities a marketing automation tool has, the more expensive it will be. You can compare marketing automation tools on websites like G2 or Captera. 
Once you have a list of what you want to automate and have chosen a marketing automation tool, it's time to roll up your sleeves and set up marketing automation. Here are the steps. First, make sure your email list can be accessed by your marketing automation tool. This can happen in different ways. If your marketing automation tool has a CRM feature, this is you know a feature that allows you to add your contact database, add and manage your contact database, you can simply import your list into your new marketing automation tool. If your tool doesn't come with a CRM, you can connect an external CRM to it. This is important because otherwise you can't really set up automation for your contacts. For example, you can't really create an automated email sequence if your marketing automation tool doesn't know who to send those emails, right? You have to have this database somewhere. In summary, the first step is all about connecting your email list to your marketing automation tool. Second step is set up your automations. This step varies depending on the tool you're using. For example, inside HubSpot, you can create workflows to automate tasks. Do you need an email sequence? Well, you're going to create a workflow for that. Do you need an automated alert for the team to check out a new lead? That's also a workflow. Do you want to create tasks every time something happens? Guess what? Also a workflow. Inside ConvertKit, on the other hand, the process is a little bit similar. You create workflows to automate processes in general, but if you want to automate an email sequence though, you're going to create a sequence in a separate place and then you're going to add the sequence to a workflow. Every tool is different. So this step here is all about learning how your tool of choice works. Third step is set up reporting. Make sure you have analytics in place to monitor your automations and improve as you go. For example, are your email sequences performing well? Are people engaging with your emails? Most marketing automation tools offer an analytics section to help you track performance and improve your automation strategy. In summary, to set up marketing automation, you need to know what exactly you want to automate as your choice of tool depends on this. Choose a marketing automation tool that suits your business goals and budget. Ensure your tool has access to your contacts database via import app integrations or other methods. Implement your automation processes and monitor analytics to improve your automation strategy. Well, this was all. Really long video, lots of good content here, but let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.